Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to just chat with you guys a little bit and share with you what's been going on in our home and what God has been teaching us. I'm excited because I'm dressed and I've showered and my hair is done and I have makeup on. This is a big deal because my family has been sick for four months. Four months we have been passing around colds and stomach bugs and viruses and germs of all kinds and it has gotten a little discouraging and we had about a week um, right after the new year where we were healthy and we went for a family hike and we were just like yes finally we have beaten these germs we can finally be healthy and feel like we can live life again and not be confined to our home and just constantly dealing with sickness well wouldn't you know the beginning of last week we got the terrible uh, flu that is going around. And it circulated its way through our home. We're a family of nine. My oldest is in college, but so there's eight of us here at home. And it made its way through six of us. I did not get it and my one-year-old did not get it. But I have pretty much spent the last week cleaning up after people. I won't say any more, but you know what I'm talking about. It isn't pretty. And when I was cleaning up messes, it, you guys, it is so easy to be frustrated and to, to say to God, why? Seriously, why? Again, why? But I don't want that attitude. I don't want to be angry at God. Um, I want to have joy in the circumstances that he has given me. And I know that there are some of you who are going through circumstances that are way harder than just being sick with cold and flu for four months. But I hope that what I share will encourage you no matter where you're going. And this is something that I encouraged myself with and my children as well because my children were getting discouraged. And so I read to them from Romans 8, 28, and it says this, and I'm sure you're familiar with this verse. It says, and we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And I told my kids, do, do you see what that says? It says, if we are in Christ, if we are believers, then God is working every single event for our good. Everything that happens, the sickness, the health, the fun things, the hard times, everything is working for our good. God is working all of that for our good. But I asked my kids, does it feel good right now? You're sick, you're vomiting, you're tired, you're, you're worried about getting sick. If you're healthy right now, you're worried about getting sick. Does it feel like it's for your good? Of course, their answer was, no, I don't understand what this verse is saying when it says it's going to work things out for my good because being sick doesn't seem very good to me. And you know what? I can relate to sometimes. Sometimes I just get so frustrated with life at that very moment. And I have to remember, the Bible says God's working all things out for my good. But what is that good? Well, guess what? We don't have to guess. We have God's word. And all we have to do is read a little bit farther. It says, that God works all things out for the good. So I'm going to go back, verse 28, and read through 29. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined, here it is, you guys, to become conformed to the image of his son. That is the good that God is working out in us, that we would become more like Christ. And I told my kids, the best thing for you is that you become more like Christ. The best thing for me is that I become more like Christ. When it says that God is working all things out for our good, that good is that we would become more like Christ. So I asked my kids, is it easier to become more like Christ when our lives are easy? Or is it easier to become more like Christ in the difficult moments? And we talked about this a little bit and we discussed it. And we came to the conclusion that it's in those difficult times that we become more like Christ, that God uses those difficult circumstances in our lives to refine us, to root out sin, um, to free us from the bondage of sin, 
and to give us, uh, to grow us in Christ likeness. When my life is easy, when my kid's life is easy, we don't really depend on God. We don't really notice our sin. But it is in those moments when I am cleaning vomit off of the floor and I am grumpy and complaining about the circumstances that I am in, I realize that my heart is not in the right place, that I have bitterness, that I am not trusting God in all situations, and that I need to repent of that sin and learn to trust God and to rely on Him. And so there, I am growing in Christ-likeness, and that doesn't happen very often in those easy times, but boy, are there a lot of opportunities to grow in Christ-likeness through the difficult times. And so my kids and I talked about that a little bit. But the other thing that we talked about is that difficult times don't necessarily mean that we're gonna grow in Christ-likeness. It is a choice that we have to make. We have to choose to acknowledge God in those difficult times. We have to choose to ask the Lord to reveal our own sin and our own heart issues that we need to deal with. We need to choose to turn to the Lord. And so I told my kids, you have a choice right now. In this difficult situation, in this challenge of just being sick for so long, you have a choice. You can choose to grumble and complain and to be afraid, or you can choose to trust the Lord and to grow in Christ-likeness and to, um, to really just trust God in this difficult time and to know and to believe, to believe that he really is working it out for your good. And so this has been a challenging time, a challenging season for us, but it has been a time where we have grown a lot. My children have grown a lot and I have grown a lot in our walk with the Lord. And you know what? We haven't gotten a whole lot of school done in terms of the academics and the textbook stuff, but boy, have we grown in our knowledge of God and in our walk with him. And I think that really is the most important thing. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I, I hope it encourages maybe some of you who are going through a hard time. This isn't easy. I, I don't say this like, yeah, so we just trust God and difficult times, no big deal. We can have joy. That's not it. You guys, this is just a daily, moment by moment, second by second, dying to ourself and living for Christ. I fail at this. This seven days of cleaning up vomit almost every single day around the clock, I failed constantly. But I kept turning back to the Lord. I kept trusting Him. I, I had to come back. It's not easy, you guys. I know some of you are dealing with so situations that are so much harder than just runny noses and vomiting. But I just want to encourage you that God has good planned. He wants to grow you in your relationship with him he wants you to become more like Christ and um, it's hard sometimes we need other believers around us during those difficult times to encourage us and so this is just kind of one way that I want to come around some of you guys who may be going through a hard time and just encourage you I hope this was a blessing to you you can keep praying for my family as well right now at this very moment we are healthy but I have said that numerous times in the last four months only to find out the next day that we are again sick with something. So all I can say is that we are just trusting with God or trusting God and hoping that um, this illness, sickness season is over for us. But you know what? No matter what happens, no matter the circumstance, we know that God is in control and that we can trust him and that he really is working all things out for our good. Thanks for watching, you guys. Mm -hmm.